Don't you love those real estate shows where they show you the ugly before, the renovations, and then what it looks like after and how they made more money? Well, that's not just on TV, it happens in real life. And I'd love to share with you my true real estate story. The best part of my job is solving problems and this certainly started as one. The only daughter heir to her father's estate inherited a condo at 33 East Huron, but she needed to sell it. Her father lived in the apartment for 30 years and he hadn't done any improvements to the property. So in its current state, the property was only worth about 325,000. I knew she could get more for it if she could do renovations, but she didn't have any cash to do the work. So to solve the problem, we brought in Curbio. Curbio is a company that I partner with when the situation is right. They act as a general contractor to do renovations. They advise on how to do improvements to set the property up to make more money, but they do keep what can be salvaged and they only have to get paid once the property sells. So it's a really great opportunity for the right situation. This one was that. With white cabinets that were plastic and aging and yellowing and outdated fixtures, flooring, cabinets, appliances. We had lots of work to do. So we brought Curbio in and in came the new flooring, new counters, cabinets, fixtures. Bathrooms were renovated, keeping what we could, but replacing what was necessary. Then we brought in the stagers. That was part of the whole Curbio plan. And wow, we were blown away by what was able to be done. When we budgeted for this project, we expected that we would sell it for about 525,000 after renovations. So what the numbers looked like were 325 plus 65 for renovation and then for 525, which would be a nice sizable increase, but guess what? because the market had improved, because it was such a lovely apartment. We put it on at 570 and we got it. 570,000 within a week of putting it on the market. So what did that mean? Well, that was an increase of $245,000 over what we would have gotten had we not done the renovations. Instead of 325, she netted 504,000. Now that's the kind of problem I enjoy solving. And this is a true real estate story. Now, one more note. This was able to happen because the seller believed in us, believed in the process and took a leap of faith. Hats off to her. So if you'd like to learn more about how you might improve your property to best get the highest sales price in the least amount of time, then please reach out to me. I'm Ann Rossley. Let's connect.